Welcome back to Cat Recaps. Miles Braun, a tech billionaire, is the inventor of the company, Alpha Industries. During the COVID-19 pandemic in May 2020, Miles sends out invites to his friends, Claire, a politician and governor for Connecticut, Lionel, a scientist, Bertie, a former model who's now a fashion designer, Duke, a Twitch streamer and YouTube activist for men's rights, and Andy, Miles' co-founder of Alpha. Claire, Lionel, Bertie, and Duke solve the puzzles and finally see the invitation hidden inside. Miles is inviting them to his private island in Greece for a long weekend and also to solve the mystery of his murder. Unlike the others solving the puzzles to reveal the box's content, Andy breaks hers and finds the invitation. It doesn't change anything because she's still invited. A private detective, Blanc also receives the invitation to the island, but not from Miles. They all arrive at the pickup location. Bertie shows up with her assistant, Peg, and Duke with his girlfriend, Whiskey. In no time, one of Miles' men arrives, disinfects everyone, and they head to the island. Bertie is thrilled at the sight of the beautiful island. Miles warmly welcomes all his friends, but is stunned seeing that Andy showed up though they aren't in talking terms. No one really wants to hang out with Blanc because he isn't part of the friends group, however, Andy extends her hand and introduces herself to him. Miles shows them his glass onion and assigns everyone to their rooms. Miles invites Blanc into his glass onion and asks him how he made it to his island because he didn't send him an invitation. Blanc explains that he received one, a box with puzzles and an invitation inside. He proceeds to show Miles the invitation. Miles then is convinced that someone reset one of the boxes and sent it to Blanc because of the mystery of his murder that was mentioned in the invitation. He thinks it's a cool idea and invites Blanc formally to his island. At the pool while everyone is having fun, Duke fires his gun just for the fun of it and puts it back. He's always with his gun. Blanc stays in the pool and monitors everyone while they do their thing. Whiskey, Duke's girlfriend, is seen drinking with Miles and having fun. When Bertie sees how Miles is happily enjoying his wealth, she recalls the time where Miles was a nobody and she was the one appearing in magazines. When Miles first met Bertie, he was so happy seeing her because she was always on billboards and making a name for herself, but now, it's all gone. It appears that Miles doesn't use anything aside from a fax machine. He has just one number which goes to all his fax machines all over the world. Blanc is eager to know what binds Miles and his friend's relationship and Miles explains that they are all disruptors because they shake things up, set limits and then cross them. Andy doesn't believe that, she thinks they are all just hanging on to Miles because he is rich and can use his influence to promote their jobs and business like he always does. And for that reason, they don't mind stabbing each other in the back to make Miles happy. Later while Blanc is taking a walk inside the garden, he sees Duke running to the other side of the island. Blanc goes to spy on Duke and he is shocked to see his girlfriend in bed with Miles. Well, everyone is doing something to get Miles to invest in their brand or business, so could this be her way of convincing him to support hers? Later in the evening, Miles takes everyone to his living room, which is full of artwork, including the original Mona Lisa, for dinner. He hands everyone their cocktails just the way they love them. Miles then shows them how secure the painting is. Any little sense of fire or sound detected shields the painting from harm, but as usual, he got some people to make a button where he can open the glass back up. He explains that he loves the painting because he wants to be like her, always remembered. Miles introduces a solid hydrogen fuel, Clear which he'll be launching anytime soon. Clear is affordable and has a great power supply. Lionel doesn't approve of Miles' wish to launch Clear because it hasn't been tested but he surprises him with the news that the whole island is powered by it. The lighting, cooling, heating of his fax machine and everything is powered by the small hydrogen fuel in his hands. At the table, Miles announces his murder will be committed and they will have to find who is responsible for it and the reason behind why the person killed him. Just when Miles finishes his speech, Blanc mentions that Bertie is the killer. She planted a remote device in the crossbow which is directly facing Miles to kill him in revenge for him stealing her signature red diamond. Miles is frustrated that his supposed challenging mystery murder game has been effortlessly solved in intricate detail within a mere second. He takes Blanc into his glass onion and mentions that he hired Gillian Flynn to write the whole thing and he made it look simple. The mystery of his murder was supposed to last the whole weekend and now that it has been solved, Miles doesn't know what to do with the rest of the days left. Blanc explains why he ruined his game on purpose. It's because he could have been killed. Blanc tells Miles that all his friends have something against him and might actually kill him in this game. 
In the living room, everyone is bored and wants to leave the island early the next day. Andy shows up and Lionel asks her why she came to the island. Andy explains that she came to find out the truth because Miles is reaping where he didn't sow. The alpha idea was hers and Miles stole it and sued her afterwards. All of her friends testified against her for some benefits from Miles. Meanwhile, they knew the idea was hers. Duke calls Andy the loser and she angrily walks away. Miles and Blanc later join the others in the living room. As Miles dances with Bertie, Duke watches them happily and calls Miles to show him something on his phone. Bertie wants to see too, but Duke hides it from her. Miles then makes a toast and just then, Duke begins to choke and falls to the ground. Blanc rushes to his aid, but Duke doesn't make it. Blanc asks that they call for a boat immediately and tells them not to touch Duke's body until medical personnel arrive. Unfortunately, a boat can't come at the moment because of high tide. While Blanc is calming everyone down, Miles notices that the glass Duke drank from and got choked was his. He draws Blanc's attention to it and begins to hide from his friends because he thinks one of them wants to kill him. Blanc hears a notification alert and goes to turn Duke's phone off, but he doesn't find it as well as his gun, which he doesn't move anywhere without. Both Andy and Whiskey aren't with them so they become suspects. Just then, the lights go out and Whiskey appears saying Andy killed Duke. Blanc finds Andy outside and she denies taking Duke's gun or knowing about his death. Just then, Andy is shot. The power in the island returns and everyone comes out to see Andy dead. Blanc takes everyone inside, saying it's high time he finds the person or people behind Duke and Andy's death. Blanc then reflects when Andy showed up at his apartment with the box Miles sent, which she destroyed. She introduces herself as Helen, Andy's twin sister. Of course they have a striking resemblance. Helen mentions that she received a call two days ago that her sister has committed suicide in her car while the engine was running. Helen doesn't believe her sister committed suicide because Andy's house was in a mess when she arrived and while cleaning it up, Miles' invitation came in. Helen says she checked Andy's email and on the day Andy died, she sent a message to her friends excluding Miles because he doesn't use a phone. In the message, she says she has finally found it and is going to burn Miles' empire down. Also, there's a picture of her with a red envelope. No one replies and the next day, she was found dead with sleeping pills detected in her system. Helen searches the whole house for the red envelope but doesn't find it, meaning Andy's killer took the envelope. Helen then hires Detective Blanc to go to the island and find her sister's killer since all of her friends and Miles will be there. Blanc agrees to it and explains that he can find the truth about Andy's death but can't take the person to prison. He also mentions that Andy's death is not in the news because Helen didn't release any statement. He then suggests that Helen goes to the island as Andy so that they can work together and find her sister's killer. Moving on, Helen learns all of Andy's gestures, cuts her hair to look exactly like her, and studies all of Andy's journals to know everything that happened in her life. In Andy's journal, about 10 years ago, her group used to spend time in the Glass Onion Bar. Andy was the leader of the group. At that time, Bertie was a faded model, Duke spent all his time indulging in video game tournaments, Claire just lost the race for city council, and Lionel was a substitute teacher. Andy saw their potential and grouped them. She later found Miles and introduced him to the group. None of them liked him until he started changing their lives. He got Bertie a show for her designs, got Lionel published, got Duke set up at Twitch and got Claire elected locally. Now, one night at the bar, Andy thought of something great, wrote it on a napkin and later she and Miles used that idea to create Alpha. Years later, Miles meets some people who introduce him to the hydrogen fuel, which he calls Clear. When Andy doesn't agree with Clear, Miles sues her and claims ownership of the Alpha idea. She lost the napkin so didn't have any evidence and surprisingly, all her friends testified against her and Alpha is owned by Miles. The day before her death, she finds the napkin, tells the group about it and the next day, she dies. Blanc is convinced that one of them killed Andy to protect Miles so they begin their mission. On the island, Helen finds out that Whiskey, Duke's girlfriend, has a thing with Miles. Whiskey tells Helen that she's still with Duke because she's building her brand. Helen then hides a recorder in Bertie's bag to listen to all her conversation with her secretary. Helen finds out again that everyone called Andy after she sent the email but her phone turned out to be off. Duke went to her house first and the others followed but they couldn't enter. Helen tells Blanc everything and they find out that Lionel faxed Andy's message to Miles. 
It turns out that Duke and his girlfriend want to milk Miles so he sends Whiskey to seduce Miles and in the process, ask him to put their YouTube channel on Alpha News. Miles says he can't because his channel is no match to Alpha News. From Helen's findings, everyone on the island is doing something to protect Miles, even if it's destroying their own name because Miles is going to pay them. On the night of Duke's death, Helen goes into everyone's room searching for the red envelope. Whiskey finds Helen in the room, looking into things, and is convinced that she killed Duke. The lights go out, Helen runs to the entrance and gets shot. It happens that she didn't die because of Andy's, which she kept in her jacket, saved her. She pours hot chili sauce on her dress and lies dead until everyone leaves. Helen then goes to search the glass onion for the envelope and finds it behind a picture frame. Blanc then breaks the case down. Miles isn't smart as they see him. He mostly uses big vocabulary which doesn't exist or doesn't fit into his context. He didn't design the puzzle boxes or write the mystery murder like they thought. Blanc also mentions that no one wants to kill him. He tells everyone to think deep and they remember that Miles rather handed his glass to Duke after pouring pineapple juice into it, which Duke is allergic to. Why did Miles kill Duke? On the day Duke was heading to Andy's house after she sent the email, he met Miles coming from Andy's house and also, the news Duke showed Miles on his phone was about Andy's death, meaning he knows Miles killed Andy. That's why he killed him. In no time, Helen arrives with the envelope and they are all confused about whether she died and resurrected twice, but Blanc clears their thoughts and tells them she's Andy's twin. Blanc again reveals that Miles stole Duke's gun to shoot Helen and of course she didn't die. Miles, realizing that he has been found out, burns the original napkin, leaving Helen with no evidence to sue him. Everyone around saw him burning it so Helen is certain that they will testify against him, but to her surprise, they are still on Miles' side and lie that they didn't see anything. Blank's efforts are now in vain, but before leaving, he hands Helen the item called Clear and tells her Andy walked away because of Clear. Helen then begins to break all the glass works in the living room, not minding what it's worth. The others find it fun and help Helen finish up. After breaking the works, she sets fire in the middle of the room and throws Clear into it. The building catches fire and the glass onion explodes, proving that Clear isn't safe for use. Now, the Mona Lisa painting, Helen opens it up and it catches fire. Sometime later, everyone begins to turn their back against Miles, saying they saw him burning the napkin and also saw him stealing Duke's gun. We know they're doing that because they're aware Miles is going to lose everything after Clear is gone. The End <laughs>